today. Have you guys ever wanted to remove the black bars from your videos? I mean, come on here. I'm telling you, the bottom ones are fine, but the side ones, get them out of here. I don't like those things. They annoy the heck out of me. And I don't care. Some people say, well, that's the real aspect ratio. If you get it off, you're stretching it. I have a program that you will do it and you put it up to your TV, you will not even be able to tell. It is incredible. And everyone should do this. It's so annoying. And there's other features of this program that I'll be posting. So please hit that like button if you like the video. But most of all, hit that subscribe button. It helps so much. And it's free. It doesn't cost anything. But it helps me out. So let's go. I'm excited to show you this. But I found this thing. I was like, ah! Like, it was amazing. I was excited. I'm not going to lie. But here we go. I downloaded... Um, this program from the website and I paid for it. It's called Wondershare. Open it up. All right, let me go. Let's just scan my name. There it is. I'm all logged in with it all up. This is the coolest program. So I burnt some of my Yu Hawk Show Blu rays, but I don't like the black bars on the sides. So, what you can do is either a video converter, I'll show you this one first, it's so awesome. So there's so many cool features of Wondershare Uni Converter. It's just amazing. So it loads in your video, right? It shows right here, it'll show um, the size of the movie that it is, the size that it will probably be after. I have it set to 720p. This movie really wasn't made for 1080p when it was first released. It was, you know, redone and upscaled till it's not true form. So I'll break the 720p keep the size down but I want to see what it look like on the TV so I hit this crop button and it's gonna play the video but I don't want to um, get the sound all up I don't want to get watermarked so I'm gonna turn off my speaker here but you can watch it and it'll play this is what it's gonna look like on the TV the bottom one is what it's gonna look like on the TV so this is what you can either do full screen and it will take it off but here's the thing, if you're like, oh, I think it's cutting out the picture and it's stretching it, you can see it right here. This is the little bars. Because sometimes when you do full screen, it won't make it full screen. So I'll see a little bar here, a little bit edge of black. But with this, you can make sure that you get everything that you want into the video. Like everything. Like if I didn't do full screen, let's just do, I do 16 by nine. Oh, I should get full screen, wait, keep original. So there's original, even with the original one. See, look, I can cut it to like, oh, look. Look at the black bars. There's a black bar here and I'll move it over here. Let's move it in the center. Yeah, I can move it around anytime. And you can stretch this thing to make sure you get every piece so there's no cut off footage. Nothing is cut off that you don't want cut off or it's stuff that you do want cut off, you can cut off. And it just looks absolutely amazing it's just a great program i'm telling you it looks phenomenal so i'm just going to do half the video right now just render it out really quick the cool thing is it does do rendering with gpu and the cool there's another before i show you that though this is the cool thing if you want to embed subtitles on this you can add subtitles embed the english ones if i want to in there i don't want to embed the subtitles on this so i want to be able to turn them off and on so i'm not going to put this i'm going to put no subtitles so i won't embed anything with it over here, let's say you have, look, see, there's Japanese and English that comes for dual audio. Guess what? I want, to, let's say the English is the main one, but I want the, uh, the uh, let's say the Japanese is the main one, but I want the English. I'll select the English. Now it's going to render the English only, and it's not going to even have the Japanese. The Japanese is gone because I prefer the dub, so it's not going to even be in there. It's not going to be in the Blu-ray at all. The, it's like it was never there. It's going to be awesome. Then there's this part here. You can either slide it down, and you can say what size you want the movie and you can adjust the size. And I'm telling you, you can mess with it because you can do custom ones here. Like I have 720p and you can do, uh, let's see, I'll do videos. They have all different video formats, all the ones that you want to edit to. 4K, all that, 1080p. But I created this one, you can create custom. So if I go to here again, sorry about that, I messed it up. I can create a custom. I can adjust the bit rate, the frames a second I want to do, the encoder what I want. The profile, high performance auto, I mean the level, I mean everything you can do on this small size, if I want this to be small, or just high size, I don't care, I just want it to be the highest quality ever. And 
this program is just, I mean, it's just, it's awesome. Let me just tell you this. I'll go back to 720p. I want that one. They have a video compressor too, and that's also amazing. It's just so cool. So we'll just start converting. But all I want to show you first is they have converted. You can use your GPUs. The newer version of this is coming out. I bought the um, Perpetual with lifetime updates on it. So it's awesome. I have enabled GPU acceleration, so I have an i80 in this computer. I am going to be upgrading to the new series when it comes out. I'm waiting to, I'm waiting for, I'm waiting so long for DDR5 and uh, USB4. Those are the other things. PCI Express 5.0 is going to be another little add-on, but I'm waiting. I'm waiting for it to come out. But yeah, so we're going to start converting. I'm just going to do a little of it. Just going to convert it right here. Just going to stow it so I can watch the encoding on it. And I have high speed conversion on too without uh, audio loss too. I mean, you know, quality loss, sorry. So I'm just gonna make this here. It's gonna be 720p, it's rendering out. I think I did full screen. Did I do full screen? I don't think I did, did I? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I did, okay, good, perfect. Sorry, but I did a little bit of it, but that's fine. So, um, it's okay. We'll just do the finish. Let's go to, uh, there we go. We'll go to my finished folders where is it under games wondershare and it's under converted do you have to show oh i don't want to open that up gosh darn it miles you bad games and i will go to where is my wondershare there it is converted here we go I mean, it looks phenomenal. No quality loss. It just looks amazing. The quality is there. I mean, it is just perfection. And this is how good it's going to look on the TV. Upload this to your Plex. It's going to look amazing. I mean, literally, it's going to look amazing. It just looks so crisp and so clear. I'm telling you guys, there's no problems in it whatsoever. It is just, I mean, it is. And some people might say, oh, well, it's going to be all messed up. No, it doesn't. This looks fine to me. The body ratios and everything look fine. They don't look fat. They don't look, you know, too skinny. They look perfection. If you watch the shows, the shows that you like, you know, look at that. It's the whole screen perfectly without the black bars on the side. They don't look like they're stretched at all. It's amazing. And this thing, and then the cool thing is, let's say you're like, well, I have a, like a, a Blu-ray, a 4K Blu-ray, or it's like 35, uh, or no, 12 gigs and stuff. Like, that's just too big. You can go to the video compressor. The video compressor and no joke you can stick it in here and you can set the uh, how much per um, percentage you want and you can mess with that to see but this is all just messing with you can create your own presets I'm telling you so once you got oh this is just for movies these are for the big movies and you can create custom 1080p ones custom this screw the sliders of how big once you hit that sweet spot you save it as a favorite and I'm telling you you can do a whole bunch of episodes at once let's just say I kept adding in the same episode again well, if they're all the same, um, you can do all these compressed at once. So all these will save the size it's going to be. It's coming from 320 to 30%. I can bring it down to 70, 98 megabytes. Um, but the coolest thing is, here's the cool thing. Back to the converter. Let's say that you have a whole bunch of these videos right here. And you're like, oh, I want to do all these in this whole row. Just take, the, they're all the same size. You hit apply. And then this uh, resolution is a question. Not, oh, the same because it's not the original. That's right. I added the other one in there. This one wasn't, uh, this new one here is the one that's already been converted, so this one's already fixed, so it's different resolution now. You can see it right here. This is uh, 1280 by 720, and this is for, uh, 1440 by 1080. That's why. But if it was the same, all I would have to do literally is whatever I do to one of them, hit apply to all, and all of them will be in a row, and I'm just going to hit start, and they'll finish up. It's that awesome. This thing is just. It's just awesome, I'm telling you. And I'm not a sponsor or anything like this. I just get excited when I see stuff like this. I'm telling you, you can bring down some of your Blu-rays. Like, I have boatloads of Blu-rays. Of... These were just of some of my Dragon Ball Z Blu-rays that I did. These are Kai and uh, Super in here and stuff like that. And then all the movies. I own all the movies, Blu-ray, all the movies ever made. So I did all these. I didn't like the first season of Kai, so I had to fix the Kai ones, and I wanted to make sure they were all big, because it really irritates the, the heck out of me to having those black bars, and it looks amazing. Anybody who says, like, oh, that looks amazing, Miles, that looks better than Funimations and stuff like that, they streaming of Dragon Ball and stuff like that, because Dragon Ball has the black bars, too. 
Same with uh, GT. I took all the, the bars off. It looks amazing. It looks way better. And the cool thing is too, you can also adjust the colors. The color spectrum of the video, the brightness, you can adjust the brightness, the darkness, the contrast, if you need more, if it's too like, you know, not as, uh, the colors don't pop as much or whatever. They have presets here. You can do cropped and stuff, and then the crop, sorry, the watermark. You can add your own watermarks if you want to add your watermarks. The audio, you can adjust the level of the audio and the human voices and everything. Enhance the human voices, the stereo. I mean, this thing is rocking and rolling. They even have the cut, so if you want to edit a little parts out really quick, you can just kind of go through and cut out the parts you don't want. And that was, I mean, it is off the chain, I'm telling you guys. It makes your movie experience better. Wondershare Uni Converter. It is awesome i'm telling you i'm telling you this because i want to help you out because i love movies love anime i love tv shows i love uh everything and i like to have it myself that's why i have my plex so i can have my burned blu-rays and everything and my dvds on it but this makes a difference i am telling you people in your house will love it and that's why i wanted to share it with you guys sorry to say it again but please like comment subscribe more is going to be coming there's a whole bunch of stuff this feet this suit can still do and I will show you guys later on. But I hope you guys have a rocking, rolling day. Peace out and have a wonderful time with your family. Because now, in some of our places around the world, we're not able to do that right now. But we're lucky enough we can. So, enjoy it while you can, guys. Rock out. Let's do it.